on Arid Plateau, one of the new maps from the Blizzard Ladder. Spawning in the bottom right hand position is our red Protoss player, Swart. Swart fighting! In the top left hand position we have our blue Protoss, aptly named, Silver player. Now, before I get into the semantics of this map, Silver Player has taken a probe really early. He is building a pylon down here at 8 supply, which is very sneaky. Now, on this map, it's one of the new maps for Blizzard. Um, you got a big base in the middle, goes down to a ramp, which is natural, which is easily defended. The third, which is naturally over here, but there's also thirds here that is widely accessed. But you've also got a gold over here, which have a little bit more risk and reward to them. Now, Silver Player is putting down a pylon at 8 supply. And it looks like he's probably going to put a second one down. So we see two proxy gates really, really early. Now the key thing is to know or have an idea of how to respond in the event that um, there's a crisis about to happen. Silver player walks right in and see it's pretty standard from Swart. You see your uh, pot or you see your gas at about 14 supply. Uh, Swart chrono boosting some probes. We'll need to build his second pile on here pretty quick in addition to his uh, cybernetics core. We see our gateway done from Silver Player, and he's chrono boosting some zealots. And he has enough to build two. So this is actually a reasonably timed cheese. Now Swart wasn't able to see anything in the base, but I'm pretty sure he knows something's up. Now the only un the unfortunate thing right now is that Swart is supply blocked, and when you're about to get cheesed, that's when you get supply blocked. <laughs> Especially because Swart is looking for something fishy going on, and at about right here is when he's going to figure it out. Now Silver Player is currently boosting out his fourth cell. He doesn't have quite enough to be constant production, but he has enough to get two right off the bat. So. Swart goes, ah shit, I'm gonna run away. Chrono boost in that second zealot, so how do you properly respond to this? You chrono boost zealots of your own, and um, sometimes if you have enough time, either get your own second gateway down or get a forge. So Swart is about doing what you need to be doing. Let's see if he's able to survive. So four zealots are walking up, and the second zealot's about to pop out right when the engagement happens, and that first zealot gets. Uh, screwed pretty bad. Swart has to pull all of his probes to be able to survive. And we see an epic micro battle in the middle too. Uh, uh, these zealots are doing a lot of damage, but actually he's able to almost equalize. Silver player is down to his last uh, zealot, but Swart is down to... Five probes, or eight, seven probes. There's one scouting along the map. Where is his other probe? He's actually attacking the pylon to see if he can depower it. Uh, he was able to deflect it properly. The key thing is to make sure that um, to not lose too many probes. You kind of got to do what you can in order to survive, but. Um, if you lose too many probes and you actually get into a differential, that's when you actually start losing. So Swart's down by about five food. Uh, we look at the resource counting station, we see three zealots versus four. Now a little bit of micro going on between both of them, now it's three zealots versus two. And we see one red zealot from Swart kiting out the other two from Silver Player. Ring around the Rosie, uh, PvP style.
again, the ring around the rosy. Now this can's going to get done, and that's going to actually buy Swart a lot of time. Swart warping in as Alex try to be able to defend. Still losing a lot of probes. Oh, oh no, he's down to four probes. Three probes, chrono boosting his... Kind of boosting his nexus, trying to be able to survive. Swart is down to five food, but amazingly, Silver Player is only at nine. So Swart decides now is the time to transition into, uh, you know, a more typical game. So he's getting a cybernetic score at 14 food at the uh, 8 minute and 11 second mark. And uh, contrary to uh, uh, what you need, you need gas in order to be successful with cybernetic score. So, uh... Yeah, PvP at its finest, indeed. So I think we've got still a little bit of time in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if let's see what Swart can do to get actually get back in this game. Now we see one of the probes for Silver Player going back, as we see in the unit counting station, because I mean heck, I can explain what everyone's doing. Um, we've got one zealot and six probes for Swart versus eleven probes and two zealots for Silver Player. So, um, what Swart's got to do is he's got to make sure he keeps throwing probes, doesn't miss a beat whenever he possibly can, just spamming that 4E button like you uh, normally do at the beginning of the game, and just trying to deflect as long as possible. Now the thing is, is that Swart does know where uh, Silver Player's army is coming out of. So, I mean, the fact that if he wants to kind of reinforce in any way, you know, he's going to have to either build units out of here, or he's actually going to like have to walk his units up to the base. Someone's stalking me. I'll stab him back in here. I'm just kind of terrified for a second. My heart chopped. <sighs> so we have four more zealots, silver players, doom squad walking back in. And Swart really hasn't been doing anything except continuing to build probes. So there's four zealots. He's warping in a stalker. Actually provides some rain support, which is good. And Swarm, Swarm doing the smart thing and pulling the probes off. Oh, I see some micro going on, uh, making sure that Sport can be able to bring those zealots off into the um, into the range of the can. Now, Swart's doing a good job of deflecting is to get those probes back on mines, which is extremely important. Now, the important thing, too, for next time... Oh, oh. Oh, we see a stalker move in, and... We see these two zealots starting to be deflected. They're actually taking out exactly whatever they can, but uh, that silver player is losing his zealots in quickly. So... We're at 17 food versus 22 food at the 11 minute and 53 second mark. Uh, Swart is actually starting to take a lead on uh, on army supply. Warpgate is just now done for Silver Player. Now next time, build the cannon closer to your nexus, like up here or down here if possible. That way you can defend your probies. But Swart decided to come over here and... He's done with the units that are over here, stalking a little bit. Doing a little bit of micro, making sure that that injured stalker doesn't have to get damaged too much. Even though all the stalkers take a little bit of damage, he's successful in making sure that all of them don't die. However, walk into these stalkers. Swart, why are you still in this game, man? You've got resilience like no other. So the stalkers are running home. Uh, Zealots walk in to at least deflect as best he can. Uh, we're at 13 probes versus a meow and 19 probes. That cannon, though, is going to make sure to deflect that, make sure there's nothing too much that can get in there. Sports making sure to utilize that Chrono Boost and stay on top of things. Now, back in Silver Player space, we got a 4-gate, which is uh, 
a pretty good transition, if I do say so myself. You know, four gates are pretty good. Not a doctor. Can't get comfortable. You got two seconds. All right. So if we look in the production tab, Silver Player is now actually building up a robotics facility. You know, for that very, very you know important late game you know detection. Okay, so there's going to be a Dark Temple or anything like that anytime soon with the 11 probes that are at Swartz Base. Oh, my apologies, 15 probes. Now, Swartz going mostly Zealot because he doesn't have a whole lot of gas, and that's the correct decision to make, but Swartz actually within 5 food of his opponent now. So, uh, we're about to see a small engagement here. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's just a sea of zeal a sea of zealous that are just able to just completely knock everything down. Silver player bringing another probe in, but there's way too many zealots to be able to do anything to this. And so we're able to lock all that stuff down, actually completely out killing a zealot right there. Uh, silver player building another pylon down there for redundancy. And that one soccer is trying to micro against an army of about nine zealots. So Swart, for the first time in this game, is actually taking a food lead. We see another fight going on in the middle of the map. That probe gets taken out, and half of Silver Player's infrastructure is about to be destroyed. Swart, thinking, you know what, four gate's a good idea. He decides to do that as Silver Player leaves the game. So Silver or Swart was down to as little as five food, and he still came back and won the game. So if there's anything, any kind of lesson that I can learn from this PvP is to never give up and never surrender. And with that in mind, I need to utilize my app, if it'll ever load, to provide. Alright, I'm done with that.